It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Thursday, the 26th of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will feature cool days, chilly nights through early next week, and early tomorrow morning we should be below freezing for the first time since the 9th of January. Let's dive in and talk about it. Start with the water vapor satellite view. Very dry air mass in place in the wake of the cold front that came through last night. Temperatures are in the low 50s in most spots. Birmingham at 52 with a pretty good north breeze today. Up north, 46 at Nashville, 33 at St. Louis at mid-afternoon. There's a watch warning map around the nation. Things very, very quiet. No high-impact weather. Convective outlook today. Obviously, no severe weather. No thunder for much of the country. Maybe some isolated thunder on the front coming through north Florida. And the rain for the next five days. Hardly any for the state. You see a sliver of green up in the Tennessee Valley. That's for a chance of maybe some light rain or drizzle Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. But most everybody around the state will be dry. But, of course, in recent days, we've had some great rain. And, boy, the drought monitor looks so much better, released earlier this morning. We still have an extreme drought in that zone from Tuscaloosa to Pell City and a severe drought, including Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. But again, uh, no exceptional drought anymore, and, and that's a huge improvement. And we hope that uh, that continues, although, as you saw there, we'll be dry for a while. All right, model fans, here's the GFS, the 12Z run, ballot at noon tomorrow. Broad troughing over the east. We're cool and dry. We start the day around 30 the high tomorrow afternoon should be around 50. Areas north of Birmingham stay in the 40s all day. And again, a fairly chilly west wind. Saturday, same thing. We start the day around 30. The high should be in the low 50s. And Sunday, a disturbance coming around the trough could squeeze out some snow flurries over Tennessee and maybe a little light rain or drizzle over North Alabama Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. But uh, for most of the state, we stay dry. Uh, Sunday's high, I'd say 47 to 50 with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Here's Monday, a reinforcing surge of colder air drops in. We start the day in the upper 20s. The high will likely be in the upper 40s. And these are the anomalies. And you can see the east is pretty cold on Monday. Tuesday, more than likely 50s and 30s, pretty much the same thing on Wednesday. Maybe evidence of a uh, secondary front coming in with maybe a few sprinkles for the northern part of the state, but the air pretty dry. We're not going to mention rain for now. And this is Thursday of next week, a zonal flow. And again, maybe a sprinkle, but uh, odds of a significant rain chance there look pretty small. Lows would be in the 40s, highs in the 50s, this is right. Here's the end of the forecast period. Sunday, the 5th of February, got a trough approaching from the west. Surface low southeast of St. Louis, and that uh, suggests maybe a band of showers and storms creeping in here later, later that day or that night if this verifies. And that's a big if. This is 10 days in advance. Numbers, no Arctic cold, but again, you can see clearly colder uh, days for the next five days. Highs, upper 40s to near 50, lows around freezing or below. And after that, highs mostly in the 50s and lows mostly in the 30s, where we should be for early February. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or on television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.